1972 was the first one. This this year is the 46th year at Folklife. Um, and it's kind of, in my opinion, Folklife has stayed the same from what it was in the beginning. The initial idea that was when it was created was to make a festival where everything we did in our homes, in our own communities, we would bring it to the middle of Seattle and share it with everybody. And that's kind of a noble idea and it was, from the beginning, it was intended to be open to everyone. So there was no emission charge and today there's no emission charge. And I like to think that after 46 years, the festival still has that same idea. If you go here, you'll see community music from over 100 different communities. Um, everything from the Hawaiian community. I remember one year they had the pirate community. There's all kinds of interesting communities of people from uh, the Northwest. It's supposed to be a regional festival. That's why it's the Northwest Wildlife Festival. So from the beginning, it's been a way to showcase our own Northwest communities. Uh, I started going in 1996, I believe it was my first year. It was my high school project to get into the festival with my Celtic band. Uh, and I made it in and I had, we had an amazing time. We drove up from Southern Oregon and uh, I'd always, I came back every year and it was a, a way for me to discover the music of the world. I was very interested in uh, the people that made up the Northwest and also where music was, what music was like elsewhere in the world. Experience to get to know this community and to learn that there are these amazing stories that are here that aren't often told. And this is a way to kind of share your stories. I did try and get Steve Martin one year, I remember that, but <laughs> I wasn't able to. <laughs> okay, I'm Devin Leger, we're at the Northwest Folklife Festival, I'm the publicist for the festival. And we're here at Folklife, uh, and we're busking, that's why we're here, like for the, the energy and the vibe and the you know community and stuff like that, so yeah. Is this your first time? Uh, no, I've been Folklife several times before, I, it's been like maybe two years since we've been before. I think it's their first time though, so. Who are these guys? Um, this is Maddie, Conrad, and Aaliyah. Not my first time. Not Maddie's first time, though. Not my first time. This is the band here. Okay. Uh, I am John Champo, and we are Alien Vomit. You guys ready? Yeah. Two, three, four. <laughs> We, we are the Mossy Back Morrisman, the local Seattle uh, Morris team. We've been dancing here since 1979? 1980. 1980. Uh, so, uh, but this dance is a, lo a lot older than us. This is Bromley, Abbott Bromley, and uh, it involves uh, reindeer uh, antlers that you hold like this. Six of us, six of us dance around holding these and we do different figures with these uh, and the uh, origins of this dance uh, you know it, it predates a lot of written history but the uh, the original antlers kept at the Abbott were uh, radiocarbon dated and they went back to around 1000 so the dance has been danced for over a thousand years <laughs> Alvin Gary Graham Jr. I've been road racing for many years. It's a passion and a dream of mine. My own model that I promise to continue to serve our country and our community to the best of my ability at all times. The journey I've chosen to take is not about you. It's not about me, it's about you. So when I suit up, I'm called to duty to do my best, whether I'm on, on the bike or whether I'm running. I want our veterans and disabled veterans and families to know all over our nation that you're not forgotten. Those that are battling PTSD, you're not forgotten. Those living within a less fortunate situation, you're not forgotten. To our veterans that are homeless, you're not forgotten. Perfect, man. Thank you very much. My pleasure, brother. My name's Chaz Tessar. 
And I'm Brittany Yoakum. And uh, we're here to celebrate folk life. Yeah, I'm from Seattle. I'm originally from Texas, but we came out here to enjoy the good food and the good music and the good vibes. Nowhere else quite like it. One of a kind. First time? Uh, uh, yeah, my first time here in Seattle. I've been to one in Texas, but it's awesome. super fun out here. Uh, this is my second Pacific Northwest folk life. It's awesome. We love it. I'm Chaz Tessar. And I'm Brittany Yogum. And, and this is 2017 Cold Flight. Unrequited love. This dream was a one way street, was a mirror with glass scratched and buzzed. This was a feeling bottling up in my body, a vehicle with nowhere to go. Bill, put in the case, we'll take it into consideration. What's up? This guy wants to do some sort of a little quick Quickie. Can I get like 30 seconds start. of uh, who, who you guys are? Uh, we're the Speakeasy Jazz Cats. One, two, three, four. Let's hear it coming. 